The proposed Welsh language measure was laid in the National Assembly for Wales on the 4th of March 2010. The Welsh Assembly Government's aim is to make it easier for Welsh speakers to use the language in their everyday lives. One way of doing this is to improve the services available in Welsh and to ensure that Welsh people have the right to access those services. The new Welsh language measure will confirm the official status of the Welsh language in Wales, establish rights in the provision of services and establish the post of Welsh Language Commissioner. This measure will create standards that will lead to placing duties on organisations to provide services through the medium of Welsh. The intention is that these organisations include utility companies, telecommunications, bus companies, train companies, postal services, local authorities, other public bodies, and of course, the Welsh Assembly Government. These new standards will ensure that we, as Welsh citizens, will know exactly what level of service we can expect to receive. For example, as we correspond with organisations, as we seek help and advice, or with regard to the language we want to see on the screens of our mobile phones. They will also enable the Commissioner to place a duty on local authorities to promote and facilitate the use of Welsh within the communities they serve. A similar duty can be placed on the Welsh Assembly Government. It will also be possible to place duties on public bodies to promote and facilitate the use of Welsh within their workplaces. The measure will create the post of Welsh Language Commissioner to ensure that these services will be provided. The Commissioner will have better enforcement powers than are currently available to the Welsh Language Board in order to deal with any organisation that does not comply with the new standards. The Commissioner will also be able to carry out inquiries and report on any issues of interest to the Welsh language, represent or provide advocacy for individuals, and investigate cases where someone has interfered with our freedom to speak Welsh with one another. The measure will require Welsh ministers to give due regard to any recommendation, representation or advice made in writing by the Commissioner. The measure also creates an appeal mechanism including the establishment of a language tribunal. The Welsh Language Board will cease to exist when the Commissioner's Office is established, but we will want to ensure that we do not lose any of the expertise with regard to promoting and facilitating the use of Welsh. This measure confirms the official status of Welsh in Wales and makes further provision about that status through placing duties on organisations. The measure is being discussed by one of the Assembly Scrutiny Committees and could become law early in 2011. Along with the Welsh Medium Education Strategy that is soon to be launched and the draft Welsh Language Strategy due to be published in the summer, this measure is just one of the steps towards a truly bilingual Wales.